Jethro Tull, A. 40th Anniversary Deluxe Edition to be released, all things being equal, on the 16th of April 2021. For this reissue, for what they are calling the Alarm Mode 40th Anniversary Edition, Stephen Wilson has created new stereo and surround mixes of just about everything, including the album itself, associated recordings and the full concert from the LA Sports Arena recorded in August 1980. This package also contains a flat transfer of the original LP Master and a DVD of Slipstream, the video, from 1981, which runs for, I think, almost an hour. It's all remixed by Stephen Wilson in surround sound and high-res stereo. So the whole package is a three CD and three DVD set. Comes with an extensive case-bound book filled with the history of the album, track-by-track track annotations by Ian Anderson, rear photographs and more. And like I say, it will be released on the 16th of April 2021. So how much is all this going to set you back? Well, in English pounds, I reckon looking at the prices, anything from 30 to 40 pounds, depending on where you shop. And looking at that, what does that equate to in American dollars? Probably about 40, 40 to 50 American dollars. So what I'd like to do next is see what you're actually going to get for your money and then have a look back at the original album. So CD1, Original Album and Associated Tracks, Stephen Wilson, Stereo Remix. So you get the original album and you get five extras. You get Crossfire, Extended Version, an outtake of Working John, Working Joe, Cheerio, an early version of Cheerio. Track four is Karusk. And as far as I remember, Lot Karusk is the home of a Kelpie or water horse that can change shape. It's a shapeshifter that can assume human form. And track five is Slipstream Intro. CD2 and CD3 are live from the LA Sports Arena 1980. And you get a mixture of Toll Classics, Songs from the Wood, Hunting Girl, Heavy Horses, Skating Away, all mixed in with live versions of most of the tracks that go to make up A. DVD 1 contains Stephen Wilson's 2020 remix of the album and its five associated tracks in Dolby AC3 5.1 surround sound. DVD 2 would be live at the LA Sports Arena, November 1980, audio only. It contains Stephen Wilson's 2020 remix of the concert in 5.1 surround sound. DVD 3 is the Slipstream video, audio visual, with audio tracks remixed by Stephen Wilson in 5.1 surround sound. Just a note on Slipstream, the video. I haven't seen it now for like 40 years. I remember we hired it out from Blockbusters, believe it or not, and we saw it way back in the day. And I was always going to buy it, but then for some reason it became unavailable. And um, yeah, I, well, I can remember of it. It was kind of this weird mishmash of concert performance and these music videos. I found out years later that the exterior footage is filmed outside London's Hammersmith Odeon. But the concert footage comes from the sports arena, the Los Angeles sports arena from November 1980. So I don't know if that's the live performance captured on CDs 2 and 3 and they've got the dates wrong. Because when you look at reports of this album coming out, some people say the Los Angeles Sports Arena was taped in August 1980 and others say November 1980. My guess is it's the same concert. When A first appeared, it really divided the fans. And we all know it was originally intended to be an Ian Anderson solo album. I think a lot of fans were pissed off with the breakup of the band. I know Barry Barlow said he was going to be leaving anyway. But it seemed that John Evan and Dee Palmer had just been given the sack. At the time, Ian said he wanted to move away from the folk-based progressive rock sound. But Barry, John and Dee have always been among my favourite musicians. And I was sad to see them go. But I kind of said to myself, one of the reasons that I love Toll is their ability to change, to change direction, to move on, to explore new avenues. And if Ian wanted to move on and work with different musicians, fair play to him. Toll's last record before A was Stormwatch, 
which at the time I found a bit underwhelming, though over the years I've grown to love very much. So maybe it was time for a change. From 1979 until about 1990, I was on the road a lot, and most of the new albums that came out I bought on cassette, and I'd have to play them on some dodgy cassette player that I could take with me. So it wasn't always the best environment to hear music. So today, hearing these records, all these remixes in their sonic beauty is a revelation. I'm looking forward to hearing the 5.1 mix of A. I'm sure it's going to sound a hell of a lot different to that dodgy little cassette they used to take around with me that kept sticking. But when I've done a proper listen to A, I'll put out a review. So thanks for listening. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.